So the other day my wife was uh, on her laptop and she went to move the screen and she accidentally cracked it. You can see a couple things in this. Uh, so she cracked it and at first it bled and then it just died out. So today I got my new screen, which was only like uh, $49. It was like $50, somewhere around there with shipping. Um, and they were very quick. Um, so this is from um, LaptopScreens.com, or actually LaptopScreen.com. And this is for my Acer Aspire 3. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the um, screen out of this. And it's actually pretty simple. And I'll show you step by step. Okay. So to begin with, um, make sure the power's off. So you're gonna turn off your power, and then we're gonna unsnap the screen. It's very simple. You just basically get you know your fingers, your fingernails. I have very short fingernails. Um, at least I think they're short. Um, I usually do mechanic work, so I keep a little bit just to do stuff like this. So you're just gonna basically unclip all the way around on the. front bezel here um, then what you're going to want to do this is where the short nails kind of come in handy is you're going to want to knock these little guys loose from the two different colors so you're going to want to knock the darker one down so um, you're going to want to get your nail in it let me flip this over real quick make it a little bit easier so you're just going to get your nail in there or a small tool or what have you and you're gonna knock it loose okay and the same for the other side you're just gonna get in there and knock it loose okay we're gonna flip back over one more time and finish this job by you can pull these and it'll actually come a little bit loose and then just use your finger to kind of trace also so and that bezel will come off very simple okay the next step is these four screws so we're going to take off those screws let's click here one Okay, once that's done, you're just going to get this. You're going to fold it down without pushing that power key. Remember not to press the power key. Okay, and there's going to be a piece of tape holding the little plug. So you're going to remove that little piece of tape. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, mine was more difficult than this. Um, because uh, I had to count the pins, I actually took this off previously. So I counted my pins to make sure of which uh, uh, screen I was buying. So once you're done with that though, you're just going to unplug it and your screen is basically detached. So you can see the cracks in it and what have you. So now we're going to get our new screen right here. and. I'm going to peel this guy off because I'll probably wind up forgetting about it after. So you're going to peel that screen protector off. And we're going to lay this down now to plug in. So you're going to plug it in. Always remember, don't press too hard because you'll turn that power key on. Okay, it's plugged in, and I'm just going to make sure it's in all the way, okay, press that tape back down, okay, now we're going to put this guy up, and there's little guides right next to the screws, you're going to make sure that those guides are all lined up and, you know, it snaps into those little guys so that it's easier to screw in, okay. 
So we got all four of those. And we're going to screw it in real quick. Screwdriver's a little warm in here, so forgive me for not lining up that well yet. Two, and you always want to be careful not to like over torque things because you can probably wind up cracking that screen again. Okay, so before assembling, I like to make sure that everything's going to work and everything's out of the way where it was. So the wire here, make sure to trace that back in, please. Um, so it doesn't give you trouble when you go to snap it shut. So now we can test it with the power. And we'll see if it fires it. And voila. She's firing up. And it's looking good. And at this point, you could probably put this... Um, bezel back on but be very careful putting the bezel on because when you put this bezel on um, you have to squeeze and if you squeeze and see always start with the bottom and if you squeeze you could damage you know that screen around the edges again so just be very careful please because um, as you'll see it'll discolor as I squeeze like little areas so um, you know, just be very careful, very gentle with it, and lock those guys back in. Take your time at it, you know, so that it doesn't uh, create any problems. And the last ones, what I do back here is I'll give this a little push with my hand in the back just for safety measure. And I'm just double checking because a couple of them are still these but as you can see it's on and it'll start up in just a moment because um, we all know whoever has these knows that they start just a little bit slow <laughs> so there we go all right so i hope you enjoyed my video and um, i'll be putting uh, links in the description so that you guys can um, order these as well and now that you see how simple it is um, you can do it yourself. All right. Have a great one.